this also is part of our culture, I think, uh, and that is a misguided notion of what patriotism is. I think the, it has, we grow up in this country very often with the idea, which is inculcated from the beginning, you pledge allegiance to the flag and sing the Star Spangled Banner and <coughs> uh, exalt military heroism. Grow up with the idea that to be patriotic means to support whatever the government does. And if you oppose the government, if you criticize the government, you're being unpatriotic. To think that way is a violation of basic democratic principles. The Declaration of Independence establishes the democratic principle. Governments are artificial creations. Governments are set up by the people to ensure certain rights, equality, life, liberty, the pursuit of happiness. When governments become destructive of those rights, that's what the Declaration of Independence says, it is the right of people to alter or abolish the government. If it's the right of people to alter or abolish the government, then certainly the right of people to criticize the government. The, the government and the people. You know, I see on television young fellows going off to war, as I did way back. And I see the television uh, interviewer asks, uh, well, young man, how do you feel about going off to Iraq? Well. I feel that I owe something to my country. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. It's not your country that you're fighting for when you go to war. It's your government. Mm -hmm. it's, it's Halliburton. It's the great corporations. It's the people who benefit from war. It's the politicians. It's the industrialists. It's not the country. Would it be fair to say, Howard, that you think that, uh, I know Lincoln thought this, uh, which loads it up by my having said that, but. It would it be fair to say that you think uh, patriotism essentially consists of loyalty to the underlying principles of the United States and that to some extent the whole notion of patriotism has been hijacked by those who believe in uh, military action? No, yeah, uh, Lincoln had it right. Mark Twain had it right. Uh, Mark Twain said this notion, my, my country right or wrong, you know, is, is absurd. No. Uh, and patriotism should mean adhering, as you were just saying, to the principles of the country. And I would, I would suggest that one of our principles, although we haven't followed it through, one of our principles should be to behave in the world like a peace-loving country, not to initiate wars. We have initiated wars. It's one thing when we're attacked. It's another thing when we initiate wars. We initiated a war in Vietnam. We initiated wars in Panama, in Grenada, in Afghanistan, in Iraq twice. We've initiated those wars. We initiated is, the Mexican and the Spanish wars, if you want to go back right. to the last century. We, the Mexican war, the Spanish-American war, no question about it. The war in the Philippines, we yeah. initiated it. Yeah. And uh, that, we should consider that to go against principles uh, that our country should stand for. This excerpt is brought to you by the Massachusetts School of Law a leader of reform in legal education and a leader in multimedia education for the public. To view the full interview and for a full listing of MSL's programs, log on to mslaw.edu.